everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I do five star book reviews and this star should be a 10 out of five stars, okay? Me by Elton John, it was incredible, amazing. There are no words to describe what this book was. I finished it an hour ago and I was like, let's go put on makeup. We are doing the review right now because I cannot wait to tell you guys about it. It was, I thought I knew everything about him. I may know more now, but I thought, I felt like I don't remember not knowing Elton John. I, I lived his life in the tabloids. I was one of those people. I thought I knew everything, but you don't. If you think you do, you don't. So up on your screen, let's get this started. 384 pages, autobiography. I listen to this book because whenever it is an autobiography by somebody famous like him, they usually do the audios. Well, he does some of it. You know who does the audio? Taron Egerton, the guy who played him in the movie. And he sounds just like him, except for that sometimes you can tell it's Elton talking, but oh my God, how brilliant is that? I can't believe they did that. I really can't. It was so much fun to listen to. And you know what? It was 11 hours and 47 minutes. I started it Friday night. It is Sunday night. It is six o'clock. I'm going to be putting this video up in a little bit because I'm going to edit it and I'm going to put it up there. And I can't believe in 48 hours, I listened to an almost 12 hour book. It was so much fun. Definitely. Even if you're like, I don't like audiobooks. I read it too. I read pages of it that I wanted to read, but the audio is so much fun. He is so much fun. There were times when I was sitting there reading it, listening to it, whichever I was doing, I was hysterically laughing. It is hysterical. He is so, <laughs> his perspective on his life is, <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I don't even know the words to it. He has such, I don't know if I could talk about myself the way he does, but you know what? I think he realized it was going to get written and so he was going to be the one to do it and he did. So up on your screen, let's go over some things. So here is the Amazon blurb. In his first and only official autobiography, music icon Elton John reveals the truth about his extraordinary life from his roller coaster lifestyle as shown in the film Rocket Man to becoming a living legend. He is a living legend. He, I don't know, like there aren't that many people you can say that about, okay? And he's still alive and he's still touring, still touring, okay? Unbelievable. Okay, so NBC News says, thought you got all of Elton John's story in the rollicking biopic, Rocket Man? Well, consider that merely a tasty appetizer ahead of this ultra rich and heavy dinner. I love that because I think it was that line that actually got me to read this because at first I was like, I saw Rocket Man. I mean, that was amazing. They did it so well. And I was like, what more? What more do we need to know about Elton? What else happened? A lot. A lot has happened in this man's life. And like when you read it, especially if you're my age, I'm 55, okay? And if you're around my age, uh, what I loved the most was that we were kind of, in this book, you kind of relive parts of your life you forgot about. He was so much a part of history. He was there, okay? So his stories about the Beatles, about Tina Turner, about Di Princess Diana, about Giovanni, about all these people. He was right in the middle of them. And he had stories and I don't know, guys, I got to start another book tomorrow. And I don't know. I don't know what's going to top it right now because I'm just like, wow, I am stunned into silence by this book. It's going to be hard to read another autobiography and not compare it to Elton's. It really is. I am so happy he did this. So incredibly happy. These are his words, his stories, and he tells it all. And if, you know, I'm sitting there thinking about my life, which is not like Elton John's, how much do I want to tell? I don't know, but he did it. He said it all. And by the time his sons are old enough to read this and he's an older man and, you know, I'm so happy he did this for them because someday they're going to have to be like hearing stories about their dad. They don't have to hear what other people have said because they have this book. And I love that. They don't have to be like, oh, this guy we didn't know. Look at these weird stories about him. He said it all. They can't, they can't hurt him anymore. 
and the press did try to hurt him. And I remember those times when the tabloids were extremely harsh with him. So I've always been a fan. I can't say that I'm more a fan, more of a fan. I've always been a fan. I've seen him in concert more times than I can remember. The most memorable though was my mom took me down to see him and Billy Joel in Miami. And my daughter, I was pregnant with my daughter, Annie, like eight and a half months pregnant with my daughter, Annie. And it is in the middle of the day and everybody's sweating, but we got front row seats. And if watching him and Billy Joel doesn't make you excited, it should, because you just stand there like, the entire time they blew me away and I feel so privileged to have been able to see that on top of all the other times that I've seen him he never puts on a bad show he's he will go down he will go down in history and read this book if I haven't convinced you I don't know what else to say I don't know what else to say go read this book I did it in 48 hours you can too okay so anyway below indie bound Amazon if you're gonna get the book go to your store go to your local bookstore support it look it up on IndieBound okay but if you want to listen to it and read it like I did go right to Amazon start it tonight and make your week amazing okay so everyone until my next book